Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. And Alyssa be crazy. And we're gonna watch the trailer, the red band trailer for Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Oh, have you, have you seen the first one? I did, it was you awesome. You saw it the first funny. one. It was funny. Yeah. A lot of sex jokes. Yeah, but it was taste, not really. It, it kind of it kind of turned me off. Hilarious! It turned you off. Yeah, I was like, wow, comedy should be much more witty than sex jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so I there's a high caliber wit that I expect from myself even. I thought it was funny. Yeah. Who, yeah. It was pretty funny. Yeah. I remember when Craig Robinson was getting forced to suck Rob Corddry's dick. That was a funny scene. It's things like that that Hollywood needs. You know, real writers like that bold enough to go to those places. Let's do it! Yes, graphic nudity! Ooh. Hope we see a dick. Four years ago, these best friends discovered a hot tub time machine. It's the fucking 80s, guys! But what they did in the past would change our world. Was it morally wrong for me to exploit my knowledge of the future for personal financial gain? He's calling himself the father of the internet. I'm the father of the fucking internet. <laughs> Ever since I wrote Let's Get It Started back in 86, I've been on a roll. Hey Nick, we're about to be pop stars lately. Today I recorded an original piece. You say I only hear what I want to. Okay, it was a Lisa Loeb song. And that hot tub really turned it all around. Yeah, I don't feel like anything bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Dude, he's been shot. You're the dick! You don't have to touch it that hard. My hand is acting as a tourniquet. Well, you work his dick, whatever. He needs more time. Then we'll give him more time. Holy shit. <laughs> we gotta stop the killer before he shoots Lou. We get blackout drunk, we wake up back in time. Don't mess with the wind formula, huh? I am a rock hard to the bone, the bone, the bone. I guess we were too late. Oh my god, it smells like hatred. The only thing he put in his body was like <laughs> Doritos and poison. <laughs> it's like a Scandinavian gay bar. How far back do we go? 2024. We went 10 years into the future. You look like a minor Tyler Perry character. You look like Gandalf the Poor. <laughs> you look like Billy Zane's dick. Except not as pretty. That's fair. Wait, why are you alive? I think what that means is the killer is from the future. We're here to stop your murder. Like Terminator. You think everything is like Terminator? Because everything is like Terminator. Who in the future will want to kill you? I don't know. I treat everyone with respect and kindness. Hello. America! What is that? It's just like baby aspirin. Except more of a super high intensity psychotropic drug trip. <laughs> the future is insane. Thank you. Boobs. I think that'll hold you till later. Yeah. Boobs! I think this may be my house now. It's a classic alternate reality situation. Like Fringe. Nerd. You're a fucking nerd. No one likes you. Point no one likes you. Time machine two. The hot tub doesn't take you where you want to go. It takes you where you need to go. Patriot Lou, you guys gotta come with me. Why? We gotta make America happen, bro. No, you're not gonna be super welcome there, but we should totally go. That looks like a lot of we fun. We need to see that. I, look, I mean, I kind of miss the presence of John Cusack, but overall, though, it's like, like it looks like they're holding their own pretty well. Yeah, it looks very enjoyable. Gets a couple laughs. It looks like a lot of fun. It and does. It looks, it does. And I think it's a smart direction to take the sequel. Like, instead of going to the past, let's head to the future. Yeah. Like, Back to the Future Part 2. So original. It looks like a, a unique kind of time travel movie. You know, I feel like this Christmas season is going to be pretty awesome for the uh, film world. Yeah. Because of Hot Tub Time Machine 2. Well, I mean, it's this one and um, 
What's the other one that we saw with Angelina Jolie? She's the directing it. I don't know, it just seems like a lot of really good movies that actually look really amazing are gonna come out in the Christmas season. You named two movies. No, it was the one that we reviewed. I can't remember the name for it. I'm broken. Yes, 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 yes. But there's only two movies in Christmas. This one? The other one. I know some other ones are coming out on Christmas that I've been looking forward to, but I can't remember the names. When you make statements like that, be prepared for someone like me to come in there and then challenge you. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. You don't know if you're wrong. I know for a fact you I'm not wrong. You know two movies around Christmas. Both of which look awesome. So you're going to say a lot of movies? That's, that's a bold statement. I said statement. it's going to be a good year or a good Christmas movie. You know what? God, you're turning me Why? on so much right now. Something about your anger it just seems like you'd be so crazy in bed. Yeah, hot tub Why? Time why? Machine. Why do you take it there? I don't get it. Darn. Going back to the actual thing that we're doing, I'm uh, I'm totally gonna see it. I'm just really horny now. <gasps> Whatever. I'll just take my laptop in the bedroom and watch porn. Fine. I'll go home. No, it'll take me like five minutes. Nah, it usually takes me like 20 to 30. Anyway, guys, thank you. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe right here. And Alyssa has her channel, Dude. Alyssa Be Crazy. Crazy. She's nuts on that channel. And trust me, this girl likes nuts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you're so weird. <laughs> click it. You should click it. Go to my channel. At this point in the video, we'd like to give some shout outs. Because we love you. Yeah, and yeah. you asked to. Michael Koenig! Hey, you fucking cocksucker, give me a fucking shout out. You rock. I like your uh, accent. It's because he knows that I say that all the time. Fucking cocksucker. My Boston accent. Also, my New Jersey accent. Fucking queer. That's what I hear in The Departed all the time. Best movie ever. It's not about homophobic stuff, Alyssa. I know you haven't seen it. Nope. Anyway, Michael Koenig, you're a frequent commenter. I appreciate the comments. They feel good when they are read, and I feel special and humbled. Not really, I get a pretty big ego. I am very cocky. I mean, I've been cocky since I was a little boy. God blessed me with the best. Yeah, but when he gets an especially awesome comment, he's like, here is regular cocky levelness. He goes like, here. <laughs> so true, <laughs> so true. So Michael, Thanks for making me cocky. I blame it all on you. Isaiah Robinson, I love your videos. I've spent like two hours watching them and could I get a shout out from Ryan? Love you, Ryan. Aww. He specifically asked for me. He did. No one ever specifically asked for me. Well, you're a very lovable character. Character. You are a character. Like, I have character traits? Like, you have a big personality. People oh, you, usually refer oh, to that okay. as a character. I thought you were saying like I'm playing a character. No, you are a character. Like, like I have character. Yeah. Okay. That's the Sorry, thing. the People thing about that. your grammar is just, it really throws me off. It's your, it's, your an, it's a term. Really People. I know, but the way you the way grammar. the way you said it, it, it just the way the sentence was put together was very misleading. I'm sorry, Isaiah. I'm sorry. Um, where were we? Isaiah Robinson. Are you Jewish? Isaiah. Does it matter? Does it matter? Hell yeah, it matters. You can't subscribe for sure. <laughs> no, I think Jewish people are awesome. My dad's best friend is full Jewish. So I'm, a, I'm allowed to say I'm not a Jew now because my daddy was cool with a Jew. No, I think I have a Jewish friend. I think there's some Jewish blood in me. Yeah, there's like a little tiny bit from my dad's side. I just really wanted to make sure you guys knew I had nothing against Jews. <laughs> I'm Isaiah, back to you. If you love my videos, that you get an automatic love you back love from me. You. That's simple. That's simple. Find love, baby. Let's do this right now. Come on, man. Come over here. Find me. Follow your heart. And let don't, your... don't invite people to find you. Alyssa, I can invite whoever I want over. Michelle Fernandez, come over here. I just, um, I think that's a very bad idea to generally open that door. There's no sex joke there. Yeah. No. Open careful that about door. My words. <laughs> open that door. Oh. You're like the panties or the thong is like the You're door. not even making sense anymore. It's making sense. Shut up. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, that's your shout out, Isaiah. <laughs> Zigvijki322. 
Just call me Ziggy. Should have read that first. Hey Ryan, WTF, what the fuck does it take to get a shout out? Do I need to blow you? Cause I'm more than welcome to do that. Hell yeah, you can Whoa. blow me. Fuck, I don't care. It's not gay if it's a blowjob. Blowjob's a blowjob. Remember I taught you that? <laughs> <laughs> Great channel. Been sub since the triple digits. Era spy, oh, what? Era spy, oh, can understand my frustrations. How the hell can you not jerk off on camera with all these beautiful senoritas <laughs> on the channel? Sally, I would like to make sweet love to you. Ryan, you <laughs> the bomb. Thanks. Well, buddy, um, Ziggy, dude, you sound like you're a confident guy too. Yeah, seriously. He sounds very confident. Ziggy, you know why? Because he's got a big dicky. How do you gather that from what you just read? Because who'd be that confident unless they had a Big cock. It's a thing called overcompensating? No, <laughs> I definitely don't do that. I just am so big. It is ridiculous. That's why three women I've seen it. Very special. Uh, I, I, I under wraps. choose to share my penis with only certain women. Makes sense. Yeah. And Ziggy, I want to share my penis with you. Come over here too. Let's look at each other's penises together. Thanks for subbing this whole time. And trust me, <laughs> Um, I may not jerk off to these girls on camera, but I jerk off to them all the time when the camera's not rolling. So, it's cool. This one, gonna think about it at night. Whoever I see that night, uh, that's usually who I'm gonna jerk off to. I can't jerk off to you? I can't masturbate to you? You don't find that flattering? That's uncomfortable. Why is that uncomfortable? Because that's in my knowledge realm. I, I don't know. How's that gross? You're making me feel like shit. It's... I feel weird and bad. <laughs> That's usually how I make girls feel. It's weird <laughs> and bad, dude. <laughs> uh, anyway, Zig, Vig, 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 Vig,